M Squad and welcome back to the channel. Today, you guys, I am going to be doing some cooking. Um, my husband has sent me a recipe that he wanted me to try out. <clears throat> so, let me get my phone right quick. He sent me a recipe, you guys, that he wanted me to try out. And let's see it. Oh, that's not it either. Oh, oh, oh. Let me see if this one is it. Basically, I can't find it, but it's gonna be stuffed shells and I'm gonna be using chicken. Now, this is gonna be the jumbo shells. I got about three boxes of those because I'm not sure whether or not it's gonna be enough for all of us. The original recipe actually called for ground beef, but we trying to do something different, trying to stay away from the beef a little bit. So I'm going to be doing stuffed jumbo shells with chicken. <clears throat> so I got my chicken, you guys. It's already been washed, soaking in water with vinegar and all that stuff. I already pre-washed my hands. So I'm going to be using bell peppers. I got my bell peppers. I'm going to be doing... I got my red onion. Red, purple onion. <laughs> it's not red. I'm going to be using banana peppers, the orange peppers, and I have already used my red pepper, so I'm going to use the last little bit of that. Um, I got the Philadelphia Creamy Melt Mexican Four Cheese. I got three bags of those. I got my chicken broth two of those and got my shredded um, parmesan and romano cheese and I'm using some Philadelphia cream cheese for that my seasonings is gonna be Mrs. Dash and I also got Mrs. Tab you guys her McCormick sunshine um, seasoning all-purpose seasoning is garlic ginger pineapple and mango so I'm gonna be using that Make a little bit of paprika on the chicken and I got some garlic and parsley um, seasoned by Badia. I might not be pronouncing it right but and I got some regular parsley flakes um, I might or might not put onion powder on there it depends how I feel so um, let's get into it you guys so like I stated this is gonna be my first time trying this I hope it comes out right so I already got my big pot on the stove. So that's my stove, you guys. This is everything that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the pot on the stove. And I'm gonna be using spring water. That's what I use to cook with. I use water that comes out the jug, spring water. I don't use tap water at all. Because you can tap water has a bad taste to it. So I'm gonna turn this up high. And this is gonna be cooking. So I actually got some thin cut chicken breast so the chicken breast is already cut thin so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be sauteing those in a frying pan along with the vegetables well the vegetables is gonna be sauteed last but I'm gonna be sauteing the chicken up I'm actually gonna be cutting that I'm gonna be shredding the chicken up for a little bit so it can be good so I can't wait this is gonna be something totally different I may eat maybe like one or two shells you guys ever since I had this gallbladder surgery it's like 
I don't eat like how I used to eat. Um, a lot of things that I used to have a taste bud from, for, I don't. Um, Y'all know <clears throat> I love ice cream. In my previous pre previous videos, I made a video called Missing Ice Cream. Make sure you guys go check that out. Missing Ice Cream. That's the title of it. Um, I love ice cream. I can eat ice cream all year round. But it's like now, it's like when I go to the store, it's like I don't have like an appetite for ice cream it's just like i lost it and i am so sad because i love ice cream okay i may i had ice cream twice but it just don't taste the same for some reason but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and um saute this chicken and cut up these vegetables and i'll be right with you guys All right, so this part of the video, you will actually see little screenshots of me cooking. Um, I thought that my camera was recording, and actually it was not recording at all. It was just screenshots of me cooking. So you will just hear me just doing a little voiceover for this little part of the video. And then after this, the video will actually pick up of the recording of me cooking. So I do apologize, you guys. Okay? I am sorry. Alright? Let's get into it again. Alright, so I'm back. <clears throat> so I shredded the chicken. And it looks like this. I sauteed the vegetables. And they look like this. Of course, I'm going to take it out to grease. So right now, I'm going to put in my Philadelphia cream cheese. I already got the stove preheated. Like I said, this is my first time trying this recipe. My first time ever cooking stuffed shells, to be honest. So I hope that it comes out good so Philadelphia cream cheese got my spoon so I got two packs of this because we're going to be stuffing a lot So this Philadelphia cream cheese has been at room temperature. So I want it to be at room temperature because I didn't want it to be all hard. You know when first time you get Philadelphia cream cheese from the grocery store, it has a little hardness to it. But I want it to be at room temperature. put that over here so what I'm going to put in this Philadelphia cream cheese I'm going to put some of this garlic parsley and some of Miss Tad that's enough and a little bit of onion powder So, Mrs. Stash. So, I'm gonna, it looks just like this, and I'm gonna stir it all up. And this is gonna go inside with the chicken. I'm trying to see, should I blend the chicken up with this? Yeah, let me add a couple pieces of the chicken and the peppers with this. And then the last thing I'm going to add to this is the cheese. Okay. And put some peppers in there. So we can stuff all this together. Mm -hmm. 
that together. And then I'm going to stir all this together. The chicken, the shredded chicken that I cooked, the peppers and the onions, and the seasoned Philadelphia cream cheese. It's going to blend all together. It smells so good. It really does. Should have got a bigger bowl, but it's making do what it do. It's making it do what it do 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 do. All right, so I'll pick you back up, you guys. All right, so this is the part of the video that I do not like. So after I said that I was going to pick you guys back up, I realized that my camera was not recording whatsoever. I had hit the record button. And then once I realized what was going on with my camera, my camera actually went dead. So you're getting another part of a voice recording. I do apologize. I wish that I could have at least have some footage of what the food actually looked like as far as me stuffing the shells and um, once I put it in the oven and showing you guys what the stuffed shells look like when I put the cheese in there and it melted and it came out. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to delete this footage because you know I did do some part of I didn't realize that it didn't pick up everything that I wanted to have on this video so I'm not going to delete it. I'm still going to put it out for you. If I decided to make this um recipe again i will make sure my camera camera is fully charged and i will make sure that it's actually recording from the beginning to the end so it won't have me doing like little snippets or little um screenshots of video um pictures so again i do apologize but the next time i make this video i will definitely make sure that it's in there all right so, um, like again, the food was good. It was a bit hit and my family, everybody tore it up. It was no food left over whatsoever. So even my son, like, and he's a very, very picky eater. So I do apologize, you guys. So, um, hopefully the next time I will get good footage, great footage. And also, y'all will see new footage of what my kitchen looked like before in this video and what it looked like after once I make this recipe again for the second time. And it was actually, it actually turned out great. There are some mistakes that I see in the video, so I won't be having those same mistakes again. But it was good. We all slept well that night. <laughs> Plot! But anywho, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If so, make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Just hit that little subscribe button. It'll only take but a second. And also, make sure you leave it a comment or two and share this video out. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you on my next video. Peace.